<laughs> hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond right, here. I'm here with all Kevin. And we're going to play some Middle Earth strategy battle game for you. Cool. So today I'm bringing 450 points of Minas Tirith, led by Faramir with a bow. And I got a warband with Damrod with a bow. And lastly, a warband with Madril also with a bow. And all the warbands are just compiled of regular warriors of Minas Tirith, plenty of shields, plenty of spears, um, plenty of swords, and then a few knights of Minas Tirith and four rangers of the Minas Tirith with spears. Perfect. Okay, so I'm bringing a new army for you guys this week, so it's going to be Isengard. And we've got a bunch of new models here from KZK. So let's go over the warbands. So we have Lurts and five Urukai warriors with sword and shield, and then the rest have pikes, another ten. And then Vrasku with three berserkers, a warrior with banner, and then six warriors with crossbow. So if you guys like the look at these models, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash battle bond miniatures where we sell them. Okay, so we rolled up our scenarios and we did some vetoes and we ended up with Reconnoiter. Um, I'll just give you guys an overview of the battlefield so you guys can see here. And we'll do a couple close-ups of the terrain. So again, this is terrain that we sell at our shop. So if you guys like the look of it, check out our shop. Link's in the description. And we will do the priority roll. Big one. one. One for Minas Tirith, six for Isengard. So looks like Isengard's going first. Okay, so Isengard went first and rolled a four for Vrasku's Warband, and then Lurtz gets to just come on himself. So everyone came on over here. And then for Minas Tirith. So Madril came first and rolled a two on the reinforcements roll, but he's got a special ability which helps him modify his reinforcement roll. So he was able to modify that to a three, and then he spent one point of might to make that a four and get on the board. Then Faramir was able to get on the board, and so was Damrod's warband. So the whole army of Minas Tirith is ready to rock, ready to roll, nice and tight down the middle, ready to march. <laughs> yeah. So everybody's on the board right off the bat. Um, so obviously no shooting, no combat, so we'll go to the next round priority roll. Minas Tirith, six. Oops, not in the tray. All right, that's a one. And I'll call a rock match. Okay, uh, I'm not going to call anything. So we'll come back to you guys at the end of the movement. Oh, so Minas Tirith had priority, and Madril called a heroic march in the middle to affect everyone. So everyone pretty much moved nine inches forward, big block in the middle, and that's all they've done. Yeah, and Isengard, same thing. Everybody just moved up their six because there were, there wasn't a march or anything. Crossbows are hopefully hopefully getting primed to do some shooting. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So we'll do our priority roll for the next round. Cool. So Minas Tirith, got a four. Nice. Six for Isengard. So swings to Isengard. Yeah. Are you going to call anything? Uh, I'm going to call a rock March with, again, with Madril's final point of might. So Madril's out of might. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to call anything. So coming back to you guys at the end of the movement phase. So crossbows stood still. Everyone else moved up. And in Minas Tirith, they've all marched down the middle, basically seeing the crossbowmen ready to shoot. So they've set up a nice shield wall, which will buff their defense from six to seven for the warriors of Minas Tirith with shield, which will mean the crossbows are wounding on sixes instead of fives. Yep, so that's and nice. Then we've got a couple of cheeky knights over here trying to run by me. I don't know if I can catch them, so hopefully we can get lucky with some crossbows. So uh, I'll do some shooting here, and then we'll come back to you guys after that. So come back to you guys at the end of the shooting phase. All my guys shot into warriors here. We got five hits and no kills. So no combats, on to priority. Minas Tirith, one. And a four. So it looks like we are over to Isengard again. So would you like to call anything? I uh, know. I also will not call anything. So we'll come back to you guys at the end of the movement phase. So coming back to you guys at the end of the movement phase. So... Crossbowmen stood still, all the warriors moved up, berserkers moved up, managed to, managed to get a charge from this berserker onto this knight, and then these guys got surrounded. 
These guys came over here to block the forest. The knights are over there. And then Minas Tirith is just moving up to force the situation. So we've got some shooting from the crossbows. And we'll come back to you guys after the shooting phase. So back with the end of the shooting phase. All six of these guys shot into the Minas Tirith warriors. Missed. Uh, Vrasku was in range of the knight over here. Hit him. Managed to kill him. So we'll come back with some combats over here. Yeah, I'm going to call a heroic combat with Damrod okay. and a heroic combat with Faramir as well to really push the push this flank. <laughs> okay, we'll come back with some dice rolls for those. We've got Damrod on pink, Warrior of Minas Tirith on Knight of Minas Tirith on black, and Warrior of Minas Tirith on green. Okay, so that's this combat right here. I've got a six. So he's got the six. So Equal fight, so you get to roll as well. Oh, we're equal fight, okay. Yep. Interesting. Let's see. Five. Five, so he takes it. And now rolling a wound with the Knight of Minas Tirith's four dice first with the Lance. Yeah. That'll kill him. Defense once. five. Okay. And then, and then with Damrod. Kills him another two times. So three wounds. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if I can get three sixes. Nope. All right, so he's dead. So I've got Faramir on pink, the Knight of Minas Tirith on black, and the Warriors of Minas Tirith on green. The Knight only gets one die because I charged him. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. So that's this one. So I've got the six, Faramir's fight five, so I'll take that. Okay. Uh, I'm not trapped, though. You can squeeze out there. So, so now Faramir to wound, shrink four, defense five, gets him twice. <laughs> sure, let's just roll the two sixes now. No, one six. So. One, not two. All right, so he's dead as well. Yeah. Okay, so end of combats. So you can see where everyone moved after their heroic combats. Uh, this knight managed to get into combat with one of the crossbowmen over here, killed him. Um, so yeah, lost three Urukai to no Minas Tirith, except for from shooting over there. So we'll go for priority for next round. Minas Tirith. Three. Nice. And it's a five for Isengard. So would you like to call anything? Not wheels. Okay. So we'll come back after movement. All right. So coming back to you guys at the end of the move phase. And everyone's in the thick of it here now. So you guys can see the lines have clashed. And hopefully the Urukai can fare a little better than they did last round. Um, so going into shooting, we don't have any, so we're just going to be going into combat. So I've called a combat with both of my heroes. And I'll call one with Faramir. Okay, so roll off, and it's my priority, so we'll see who goes first. It's me. All right, so we'll come back to you guys with my heroic combats. Okay, so uh, we're doing this combat here with Vrasku. Um, so this is the roll. So Vrasku is going to might up to a five and win. And then we will uh, do our rolls here. Um, so is it fives or sixes? Five to six, so fives. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're going to strike the rider, obviously. So nothing, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got the next Faramir's heroic combat. So Faramir and two warriors of Minas Tirith with a knight of Minas Tirith against one single trapped crossbowman. Yep. The knight was charged at least, so he only gets one attack. <laughs> yep, that's correct. Uh, so six with Faramir's pink dice. Yeah, so he's trapped. Fight and then to wound, Faramir's... Faramir to wound, gets the kill. Kills him immediately. All right. It's looking good. We'll come back to, with uh, where they move. Okay, so uh, the... Heroic combat that went off over here. Everyone moved over here to surround Vrasku. And then we're going to do alerts over here. So it's just alerts versus two. So the two warriors of Minas Tirith set the tone with a four. A four. Nice. Hopefully I can beat that. I can. All right. And now six fives to wound. Six is to wound. Five to wound. Five's to wound. Strength five. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty far for the course. All right. We'll come back to you, with you guys uh, at the end of the combat phase. Okay, so we're coming back to you guys with the Vrasku and Faramir and other Minas Tirith guys fight. So 
Roll it up, let's see what you get. Cool. Set, set the bar. is on pink. And Faramir gets a three. So Knight gets a four. four high. Okay. Average and roll. I only have two attacks, so hopefully I can at least tie it. So, tied. Yep, so that's a tie at the moment. Do you need anything, Mike? Uh, no. Okay, so roll off. So, you guys haven't seen this, but I've won every single roll off so far this combat. <laughs> And now I lose. <laughs> All right, he's trapped. All right, so four strikes with the Knight of Minas Tirith. We'll re roll those two. Sure. So nothing there, and then four wounds with Faramir. So strength four. What's your defense? Five. Uh, it's five. Yeah. So there's one wound with Faramir, and we'll keep the fives, and then two wounds. There we go. Uh, strength three. Eighty five. Yep. Okay, so that's three wounds total. Okay, so I have two wounds, one fate, so I'm Indeed. just dead. <laughs> okay, so end of the combat phase here. So you guys witnessed Verascu's death. Um, I actually won over here in a one-on-one -on -one and did a, a wound that was fated. And, and then over here, you guys saw alerts epically fail. We lost an Uruk there, but then the Uruks went ham over here, and we killed six. Warriors of Minas Tirith, all in this combat phase. And then uh, this knight won over here. So that's the end of the this round, so we'll go to our priority rolls. Minas Tirith, six. Oh, that's just you. That's an easy one. That, that was me last round, so would you like to call anything? Ah, uh, no. Me neither, so... Over to you for movement. Okay, so coming back to you guys at the end of the movement. So we had one of the knights run off the edge. Um, one of the warriors is close. The other knight charged over here and everyone else kind of got into the thick of things. Um, there wasn't really much movement on the way of the Isengard side. These guys just ran up over here. They're gonna try and get off the board edge. And then this knight also ran all the way down over here, really close to the edge. And Faramir is calling a heroic combat with his last point of might on this trapped Urukai with crossbow in a last ditch effort to prove himself to his dad. <laughs> That's perfect. Lurtz is not going to do anything. He's just going to lurtz it up. All right, we'll come back to you guys with some combat since again there's no shooting. So Faramir is pink with the two Warriors of Minas Tirith on green and they've got a five. So that's this combat right here. And let's see if I can tie. No, not even close. And now all of these dice are Faramir to wound, hitting fives, and he gets them. He's six. Dead Urukai. So Faramir's heroic combat has gone off, so now he's gone to charge the Urukai with Banner, who now has no one to pass it off to because there's no unengaged Urukai available. So Faramir and a support against the Urukai with Banner got a five. All right, let's see what I get. Oh, I get a re-roll at least, because I am a banner. Oh, wins it! <laughs> Six gets dropped to the five, and oh, yeah, true. I've Tie. got fight five, so I'll take it. And now to wound. And no wound. All right. Well, that was lucky. Yeah. That ah. <laughs> was kind of funny. All right, we'll come back with some more combats. Okay, so we'll come back to you guys with Lurtz versus three over here. So. Warriors of Minas Tirith, get a five. Nice. Let's see how Lurtz goes. Got the six. Let's get to six. Shield wolves up here. Uh, well, let's see if he can actually kill some guys. So, fives? Yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Good work, Lurtz. Okay, so wrapping up the combat phase here. Um, Minas Tirith ended up killing more Uruks than Uruks did normal guys, so not looking good, not looking good. So let's do our priority roll. Minas Tirith, three. Nice. Four. Swings to evil. And you're out of might, right? Out of might, yep. Okay. Um, Lurtz isn't going to call anything, so we'll just come back after the movement phase. Okay, end of the movement phase. So... Everyone's been tagged off over here. These guys are still running to the edge, being chased. And we have no shooting once again. So we'll come back with some combats.
So Faramir yeah. and uh, Warrior of Minas Tirith are going to continue on his journey. To prove himself to his dad. He's yep. set us three. I'm shielding. Denethor is going to be Which was a mistake. <laughs> All right. Knocks him back. No win for Faramir. And then last combat we have is Lurks versus three over here. So with a trap and a four. Four high. All right, Lurks. Lurks wins. Cool. Let's see if we can actually kill a model here. Five to wound. Hey, we got one finally. <laughs> sure. That is the end of the combats. So it was pretty even once again for Isengard and Minas Tirith casualties, which is unfortunate for Isengard. And yeah, and another couple guys ran off the board for Minas Tirith. So let's do our priority roll for Minas Tirith. Five. Ooh, I'll take roll. that. I will take Over that. Over to you. Back to good. All right. Um, you know what? Lurt still has two might, so I think I'm going to call a move with him. Yep. Makes so sense. we'll come back after we do that. Okay, so after the heroic move, everyone kind of got tagged over here except for a couple of normal warriors who came in over here. And then everyone got tagged here. These guys moved over here to join this combat. We had this get tagged over here. That guy's running. So no shooting once again. So going into combat, Lurtz is going to use his last point of might, and we're going to do a heroic combat with him. Nice. Yep. And my warrior of Minister will shield to try and prevent Lurtz's heroic combat from going off. Here he goes. And double, <laughs> double one. So I can't lose. <laughs> guaranteed victory. All right. So let's see if we can get a five here. To wound. So rolls to wound. Hey, there's a five. That goes off. So then Lurtz is going to run over here into Faramir. And yep, we are going to have some hero offs. Um, so we're going to start over here, these two. Um, my Urukai warrior is going to shield. Yep. Demod has got a six. Green Middle Earth League, six. Nice. And I also got a six, so it's a roll off. So over to you. And that's me, so I win. Oh, yeah. Knocks him back. So Madril is fighting the Urukai with Pike. All right. And Madril gets a five. Nice. I get a one. <laughs> he can. Big six. Madril gets a kill. Nice. So Faramir versus Lurtz. So let's see how it how it goes. Faramir. Big four. Nice. 50-50 here. Oh, tied. <laughs> Both no one, five. No one has any might, so your priority, your roll. I think I'm due one. Oh, goes oh to looks like it's over to Lurtz. Lurtz All right. get the leader kill here. What's your defense? Uh, defense five. Okay, so I'm looking for fours. So zero wounds. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the round, so I guess we're moving on to priority again. Stays with Minas Tirith. Yeah. So there's no might left on the table, nothing to call, so we'll come back to you guys after the move phase. Okay, so end of the movement phase, you can see everyone's been tagged here. Everyone's got a fight. And this guy is booking it towards the edge. So hopefully he can make it off next round. Okay, so Faramir is going to have a shot at this Uruk. So rolled a little prematurely, but it ended up being a 2 and a 1. So let's see if I can roll higher than a 2. Higher than a 2. Hey, it's a 3. Just. So, yeah, can we do a wound where alerts could not? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, Kevin's a little premature on his rolling for hero combats here. So we're doing Lurtz V1. This was his roll. Big so, three. yeah, let's, let's hope Lurtz can get at least a three. And we do. And let's hope we can kill a normal warrior. Come on, Lurtz. Hey, look at that. We did it. <laughs> uh, okay, so end of the combat phase. 
Um, we managed, or Isengard managed to get a couple kills on Minas Tirith, so that means that they're actually broken. Uh, the Uruks broke a while ago, but they're not down to 33% yet. So let's do our priority roll. Minas Tirith, five. Oh, nice roll, Isengard. Oh, so that's over to me. Swings to evil. Yeah. So we'll come back after the movement for this next round. Okay, so end of the movement phase. Um, my Uruk over there finally got off the board. Hooray. Uh, this guy started his long trek to the end over there. Um, we did some engagements over here. And then enough courage checks were failed on the Minas Tirith side that this will be the last round of the game. So we have no shooting. So we'll just do some combats and we'll come back to you guys with those. Okay. So last combat of the game, we've got Lurtz plus a Pike versus Faramir. So let's see how how we go. So Faramir on the New Zealand Middle Earth League dice with the green oh, six. Oh, six. I got four dice to hit a six, and I don't. Oh, gosh. And he's got another six. <laughs> oh, Lurtz, hilarious. No wounds on Lurtz. No wounds. All right, so yeah, that's that's it for the game. Um, we'll tally up points and come back to you guys. Well done, mate. Thanks, buddy. Alrighty, so that wraps up a pretty, pretty vanilla matchup, to be honest. And reconnoiter with Isengard versus Minas Tirith. In the end, Minas Tirith got three models off the board edge, and Isengard got one. So that's a maximum three times the number of models for Minas Tirith. So seven victory points there, and then both armies broke each other so that's one victory point each no wounds on Lurtz or no and no wounds on Faramir either so <laughs> no one gets the VPs there so full time scores 8-1 to forces of good just like in the movies you always know the good side's always going to win so yep. Minas Tirith take that one out yeah um, so yeah I'm, I mean it sucks that I couldn't even get one wound onto Faramir with Lurtz <laughs> uh, other than that yeah I mean <sighs> I feel like, apart from the very first set of combats where I killed like six models, the combats were pretty much even as far as killing models goes, and that just, that doesn't work when you have like ten more models than I do, right? And then also having no cab, obviously, that's a big deal on this scenario. So not being able to just like run around and bypass everyone really easily is also pretty tough. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else I could have done differently. <laughs> Couple Cobain next time. <laughs> what, you always want... Honestly, Cobain are like one of the first things I put in an Isengard list day. Yeah. At any points level. They're so, they're so, they're so good. They're, yeah, well, this is so... I just... Uh, I made this list and then I printed these models and painted them. So, this is what I'm stuck with for now with Isengard. I do have... Uh, Saruman, so he'll be added in eventually once I get him painted. Him and Grima, so that'll that'll bump me up to like 700 points or whatever it is. But yeah, overall, really fun game. Had a blast. It was great to play Minas Tirith. Don't really get to play those guys that much. So yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe, and check out our shop if you want to help support us. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back again with some more Middle Earth strategy battle game.